So hi everyone and welcome to the MasterCard Virtual Press Lounge. Uh, my name is Gina Clark, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Fintech Times, a global multimedia news outlet centred around the world's first leading fintech newspaper. Um, it's great to have Miles Stevenson with us. Miles is Chief Executive of Modular, so welcome Miles. Thank you very much, great to join you. Um, it's a crazy time that we're living in at the moment, isn't it? How, um, how have you at Modular been coping with this all? Indeed, yeah, it's been, been a, a lot happening and um, largely a lot of good things happening, but in a challenging environment. So it's a week move from closing a, a funding round uh, just as lockdown happened um, through to continuing to sign and um, board new clients. But, but obviously the broader environment has been challenging and causing us to you know, think very hard and, and think very carefully about how we go about things. Sure. And how are you kind of getting to grips with the virtual world? I mean, uh, we're digital platforms, so I guess we should be used to moving fast, but it's always tricky in, in principle, isn't it? Yes, and in, in, indeed, well, we had the huge benefit of obviously being um, created over the last, uh, or building the business over the last um, four years. So, so everything has been built with a digital cloud and the ability to work remotely. So all, obviously all of our platforms uh, continue to, to work and, and uh, be able to be operated remotely, uh, which gives us obviously a, a great, great advantage. And then all of our, our support services tools uh, are obviously all remote and cloud-based. So the ability to move out the office and work remote, remotely uh, was, was super easy and, and obviously been very productive uh, whilst everyone's been working at home. Great. Uh, and, and from kind of the insight that we've had of, of this new way of living, is there anything that you think will kind of continue on from here? Are we seeing any key trends in the industry right now? Um, well, I think, I think for us as a company, it's, it's demonstrated in a great way the, the productivity and the flexibility of being able to uh, work remotely. So, so I think like everyone, uh, I think it's opened uh, our eyes to being able to, to do more of that. And I'm, I'm sure there'll be a change as we move forward, but therefore being less dependent on the uh, the office locations that that, that we have, uh, and providing more flexibility for uh, our teams to be able to to, to work from home when they uh, would like to or when they need to. Um, in in terms of the the industry and the market, well, ob I mean, it's an obvious statement to make, but we're seeing a similar trend of uh, the the drive to digital services and digital transformation only accelerating. It was accelerating uh, anyway. Um, but, but we see more of that and, and I think that puts us in a very strong place around the, the automation efficiency um, services that we're providing to, to businesses and to platforms um, to, to embed payments. So it's good news um, from here on in fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, ho ho hopefully, but obviously it's going to be a challenging economic environment and I think we all have to be mm. mindful of that and, and think carefully as to how that's going to change over the next term. Um, I guess quarter, year, and then potentially even beyond then. Definitely. And I mean, one of the changes is that we're doing this virtually today instead of kind of being face to face. So how are you finding kind of virtual exhibitions and, and uh, I guess more training opportunities and collaborations? Yeah, I think it's, um, it's very, it's obviously different. Um, and obviously a big change compared to the, some of the, the, some of the large events where you get to meet people face to face and, and network. But, but I think it's providing, um, uh, lots of opportunity to do more and I think that's um, part, part of opportunity and very good but also part of cha uh, challenge to decide um, what to attend and what to do because I think there's the, the danger that you try and do too much and therefore being selective has, has been the, um, the, the, the challenge um, but gives more choice more opportunity to, to get involved in many types of events and, and, and have conversations that ordinarily might not have been possible uh, because of the physical nature of them. Very true. So, uh, and what about Modular itself? What, what are you doing kind of over, well, looking into 2021 now, I guess, we're in the second half of the year. Any plans for you? Well, well from a, uh, it's a marketing point of view, we, uh, our team did an amazing job of, of pivoting from what was a, a very um, heavy physical events-led um, programme uh, through the year, and we kicked that off in Q1 um, with a number of different events, both joining events and hosting our, our own events. And the team have pivoted that into a digital series, um, including our uh, accountancy road shows. And then they're, they're running a, a sort of summer of payments theme at the moment, so at different nice. events. Uh, so, so we've had some great, great attendees. So that, that will continue on uh, through this year. And, and then we're, we're sort of trying to think through to next year what mix we'll need in terms of continuing uh, those digital events. But uh, 
hopefully getting back to some uh, physical events as well as they start to um, be hosted and, and come back again through next year. It's crossed. And I, I guess maybe a, a final question in terms of kind of innovations that are happening right now. Um, is there anyone that you're kind of keeping an eye on that you're looking at and thinking, you know, they're doing good things at the moment? Um, as ever, there's a lot going on in the payments market and it continues to, um, as I'm sure you're seeing, uh, a lot of activity. Um, rather than, I guess, a particular, because there's so many different um, providers, partners, um, participants in the market that we could point to, uh, one of the areas that we've become yeah, very interested in and have been planning for a while is um, payments initiation um, through open banking. And uh, we've just launched a set of services there and there, there are a number of other providers in, in that market. And I think that's um, definitely not mainstream yet, but I think is turning the corner in terms of now having the capability, the usability uh, to enable merchants and businesses to adopt that as a, as a mechanism of payment. Um, so, so I'm hopeful that that sort of ecosystem within the ecosystem will start to, uh, uh, to take off. So I think the providers in uh, that market, um, I think there's a you know, good opportunity for all of us as, as that grows. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for, for sharing your views with us here. Um, that's all for us, but I hope to catch up with you soon. Brilliant. Thank you very much.